Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with another sneaker review and today we're trying something new on the channel. Today will be the first ever double sneaker review. Before we begin this review, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do a lot of sneaker reviews on feeds, vlogs, uh, lots of sneaker related and lifestyle videos. So subscribe if you're into that kind of content. Today we're taking a look at two of Nike's latest renditions of the low top Air Force One. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Air Force Ones and so when I saw that they put some camo prints on them, Oh boy, it was gonna be a must cop. Now I only plan on keeping one of these and I wanna hear what your opinions are on these two models and help me decide which one I end up keeping. I'll be returning the other. And so to make things a little more fun, let me know in the comments down below which colorway of this Air Force One you think I should keep uh, and include your Instagram uh, username and follow me on Instagram. That way I can contact you uh, and the winner will receive a sample Sneaker Talk Burgundy t-shirt. This is the sample one where we had the logo be even larger than the way it is on regular Sneaker Talk merch. And of course, if you want more giveaways, make sure you thumbs up this video. So first things first, let's get to the first colorway of the Air Force One camouflages that released. And just a heads up, these are only two of the three. They did make a third one, which was like a dark woodland. I'll have some pictures of that one on screen right now. Now. I really like that one as well, but I only ended up grabbing these two from the Nike website. Now these might be available on Nike's website so you can check there, or you can also check any other store that typically carries Air Force One. Now one of the really cool things about this Air Force One pack that they've released is that each colorway of the Air Force One actually has like a reflective material coated on top of it. So these are going to look really cool at nighttime. They'll have a really nice effect when you have flash or like car headlights on them. So if you want to see what these bad boys look like with Flash and with their 3M fully activated, stick around till the end of the video. The very first colorway we're going to take a look at today will be this one here in my hands, the red, dark, military green, and light olive colorway. Now bringing these up close to the camera, you guys can see that they have this camouflage print all over the upper of the sneaker. There's no escaping it. And to accent the sneaker, they've included a black leather swoosh. It's a smooth leather. Let's see if we can get that detail. Yeah, so we got a black smooth leather swoosh here. We got some black laces and no extra laces were included for this release. Uh, you also have the black Nike Air right here on the tongue with Air Force One at the bottom there. And to wrap it up, we have the Nike Air on the back in typical Nike Air Force One fashion. This colorway also features a completely whited out midsole with Air in a white on white font. And also, you guys probably love this. A lot of sneakerheads love this. I don't know why but we got some gum bottoms. Sneakerheads and a lot of sneaker enthusiasts just love gum bottoms. I myself being one of those people. I'm a huge fan of the way Nike decided to have this print color blocked. It really reminds me of sort of a Bape-esque kind of vibe. Uh, so if you're a fan of Bape, you'll probably like these Air Force Ones. Oh crap, I dropped it. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure Bape must have released like an Air Force One knockoff. So I'll have some pictures of those on screen if they did. Overall, the sneaker is sort of louder for a camouflage print uh, because the color blocking really does contrast each other. If you're gonna wear these, I would recommend wearing like an all black outfit or like a white shirt with a black hoodie because the print on the sneaker will definitely be the loudest part of your outfit. If it's not the loudest part of your outfit, you're doing something very different, which is not something I would normally do. Now taking a look at the next colorway, we have a like desert camo. And I have to say, I prefer this one just a little bit more than this sort of Bape camo on the other pair. You have a sort of dark olive mixed with a sand and a chocolate brown uh, color scheme for the camouflage print. The like desert tan color continues from the upper all the way down to the midsole of the sneaker. So it really, really continues that camouflage vibe without having a sort of obtrusive, in a way, white midsole like the other colorway does. And on the very bottom of the sneaker, you have the uh, tan outsole as well. Now this colorway, Nike did opt to continue with the black uh, Nike Air Air Force One on the tongue here, and they continued the same trend on the back as well. Uh, one thing I'd like to note is that the tongue here with the Nike Air branding is like a smooth, smooth leather. And they use that kind of leather on both colorways of the Air Force One. This sneaker also opts for tan flat laces. Uh, no extra laces were provided. Now one thing that might bum a few of you guys out for Air Force One collectors is that 
this pair or these colorways of the Air Force One Low don't include that like silver lace lock thing at the bottom. I'll have some images of that on screen right now. Now as far as comfort goes for these Air Force Ones, you're gonna get your typical Air Force One comfort. Nothing too crazy. They are definitely comfortable. A lot of people tend to knock the Air Force Ones for being uncomfortable. I find Air Force Ones to be comfy. They're very easy to throw on uh, if you're running out of the house or just very easy to slip on your feet uh, and just continue on with your day. So that's one of the reasons I love the Air Force Ones. When it comes to sizing, I would recommend going half a size down your regular size. So for example, I am usually a size 10 in Air Jordan 1s. I go with the size 9.5 in Air Force 1 lows. Anyways guys, it's getting really dark outside. I wasn't expecting it to get this dark for the video. Uh, so sorry about the lighting for this video. Uh, of course, enter the giveaway if you want to win a Sneaker Talk sample merch shirt and on feet and a flash test, a 3M test will be up next with some pretty dope background music. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching as always, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Smoke, yeah. Find a little spot where we could be alone. Your own my lost your trust, is why you act so cold. But when you need my love, it just hit on my phone. Baby, we could just smoke, chill. Find a little spot where we could be alone. Your own my lost your trust, is why you act so cold. But when you need my love, and just hit up my phone, baby. Yeah, baby girl from the west end of the city. Her old man can't spell loyal, so she started fucking with me. She be hitting on my spot like when I hit it from the back. I prefer it when she ride. Let's work, that's fast. Oh my god, oh my god, that ass is no facade.